یومیات لا تکلم نفس اللہ بزنی وین دیٹ ڈے کمز نو سول ول بی ایبل ٹو سی اینی تھنگ ٹو پروناؤنس اینی ورڈ ایکسیپٹ بیزنی ہی ایکسیپٹ بائی دی پرمیشن آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی فرم ان ہم شقی ان و سعید فرم امنگ دم دیر ول بی دی شقی اینڈ سعید دیر ول بی دی پیپل ریچڈ پیپل ڈوم پیپل اینڈ دیر ول بی پیپل ہو بی بلیسڈ فرم اللہ دین شقوف فی نار سو دوز ہو ار ڈومڈ دی ول بی پوٹ ان دی فائر لہم فیہا زفیر و شہیق اینڈ دی ول گو آن سائنگ اینڈ ویلنگ اینڈ موننگ کنٹینیوسلی دیر خال دین فیہا دی ول ریمین دیر ان فر ایور ما دامت السماوات والارد سو لانگ ایس دی آدی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارث ریمین اللہ ما شا رب بک ایکسپٹ وٹ یور لارڈ ڈیکریز ان رب کا فعال لما یورید ویری لی یور لارڈ ڈس وٹ ایور ہی انٹینس ناؤ دس از اے ویری پیکولیئر پلیس آف دی قرآن ویئر دس یو نو ایٹرنیٹی آف دی فائر آف ہیل And also in the same way we shall find the eternity of Jannah. It has been, you know, surrounded by two exceptions. Number one, there is going to be a limit, so to say. Ma damat is samabat over that. But that what theoretical means. Maybe a time comes when all these heavens and earth, they are finished with. The, this universe might come to an absolute end. Then it means, according to the words, The Jahannam will also come to an end. So most of our, you know, the scholars and mufassireen and mutakallameen of Ahlul Sunnah, they say, these are only idiomatic words. Actually, it means forever, 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 forever. Ma'adamat is samabatu wa lars an idiom for eternity. But there are certain people, there have been certain people, I should say, who say that Jahannam is not eternal. It will come to an end. Although the period is going to be very long, very long, very long. The length, you know, is unimaginable for us. Very long, very long, as if eternity. But it is not going to be eternity. And it's very strange that two very notable persons of the Ummah, who are very much opposed to each other in nearly every other respect except this, they are, you know, in agreement over this issue. I'm referring to Imam Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah and Ibn Arabi. On the one side Ibn Taymiyyah, on the other side Ibn Arabi. They are, you know, like, you know, opposite poles of the magnet, you know. So actually, but on this issue they agree, both Ibn Taymiyyah as well as Ibn Arabi, that Jahannam is not eternal, a time will come when all people, either they should be ext exterminated Finished. If they didn't have any iman, any grain of iman, they will just be finished. No existence. And if there was some grain of iman, a time will come, then they will take her out. And about this, you know, the other people also agree that if there is some amount of iman in the heart of a person, then a time will come that he will come out from Jahannam and he will be then admitted to Jannah. But you know that Jan Jahannam will come to an end. This is not the belief of most of the Muslims, but Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Arabi. It is very strange enough that both of them, they agree on this point. As for those who will be blessed, they will be in the Jannah, they will be in the garden, Khalidina Fiha, and they will be living there. Ma damati samawatu wal lard illa ma sha rabbuk. So long as the heaven and the earth will remain, except what your Lord decrees. Now, this, you know, confirms the point of view of those people who say it is idiomatic. Atan ghaira majzuz. And this will be a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which will never be break, which will never come to an end. Falatako fi miriyatim mimma ya'abudu ha'ula. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or O listener or reader of this book, Don't be in any doubt about those whom these people are worshipping. They are also worshipping just as their forefathers used to worship. And we shall pay them in full their portion, undiminished. 
ولقد آتينا موسى الكتاب فاختلف فيه ولولا كلمة سبقت من ربك لقضي بينهم وإنهم لفي شك منه مريب and we gave the book to Musa عليه الصلاة والسلام فاختلف فيه but people you know differed about it ولولا كلمة سبقت من ربك and had the word not passed from your lord that a time has been fixed it would have been decided between them لقضي بينهم وإنهم لفي شك منه مريب and now they have you know doubts about it and these doubts are perturbing wa inna kullan lamma la yuwaffiyannahum rabbuka a'maluhum and surely to each one of them your lord will pay them in full for their deeds innahu bima ya'maluna khabir verily whatever they are doing and he is aware of it fastaqim kama umirta so muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you stand firm as you have been ordered and commanded ومن تاب معك and so should do those who are who have you know who have repented with you that is who have left the shirk and kufr and they have come to believe with you ولا تطغوا don't exceed don't exceed the limits of Allah subhanahu wa taala and don't exceed the limits of decency even you know if the enemies they behave indecently to you but you have to to remain you know your behavior should remain decent انه بما تعملون بصير whatever you are doing he is seeing it ولا تركنوا الى الذين ظلموا and don't incline towards those who are evil doers even if they are your fathers or brothers or sons or daughters and so on but don't incline towards them because these are you know makki ayat and we have read this subject in the strongest terms in the madani surahs qul in kana abaukum wa abnaukum wa ikhwanukum wa azwajukum wa ashiratukum wa amalun ittaraftumuha wa tijaratun tarshawna kasadaha wa masakun tardawnaha ahabba ilaykum min allahi wa rasulihi wa jihadin fi sabilihi fatarabbasu hatta yati allahu bi amri wallahu la yahdi alqawm alfasiqeen but here because you know these are the makki surahs wala tarkaru ila alladhina zalamu fatamassakum an-nar don't incline towards those who are evil doers then fire will touch you you will not find besides Allah any protector and you will, and you will not be helped from any corner and establish salah on both ends of the day sides of the day morning and evening we find it you know in the beginning these were the two main prayers morning prayer evening prayer and some of some part of the night also for example we find it other, at other places also really the good deeds they wash off the, the bad deeds about the sagair you know they are automatically washed off by good deeds if you have committed sagair the smaller you know sins and you are committing something doing something good also so these smaller sins are wiped off automatically although you have not made any toba and you know conscious any repentance but these things are in al hasanat yuhibna sayyiat zalika zikra li zakirin and this is reminding for those of who have who who want to have the reminding who want to remember and want to be mindful wasbir fa inna allah la yuziyu ajra al muhsinin and be patient persevere and let it be known to you that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to waste the reward of the good doers falawla kana min al qurun min qablikum ulu baqiyatin yanhauna al fasad fi al ard illa qalilan mimman anjayna minhum wa taba al ladina zalamu ma utrifu fihi wa kanu mujrimin if only there were among the generations before you men possessing a remnant of wisdom prohibiting their people from corruption in the earth except only a few among them whom we delivered these nations when they were destroyed what was the main quality very few people remained on the right path and they were also not forbidding from the from something wrong so then you know the nation becomes liable to the final extermination the final punishment and but those people who go on forbidding if you they are saved and jaina min hum wa taba alladhina zalamu ma utrifu wa kanu mujrimin and these evil doers they always followed their luxuries utrifu fi what we had given them the luxuries of this life they were after them all the time 
وکان و مجرمین دے ور ڈیفینیٹلی گلٹی و ما کان ربک لی یحلق القرا بظلم و اہلھا مسلحون اینڈ یور لارڈ از ناٹ سچ دیٹ ہی وڈ ہیو ڈسٹروائڈ دیز ٹاؤنز دیز بگ سٹیز اینڈ سویلیزیشنز اینڈ دی پیپل دیر آف ایون اف دی پیپل دیر آف ور مسلحون رائٹس ریفارمرز ریفارمرسٹمنٹ why we are you know so much divided among ourselves why these sex why these schisms etc etc so every good natured good natured person abhors these things doesn't like these things but now one thing is very important the philosophy is that when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given people a freedom of choice because he has created this world for you and the life here is actually a period of testing Number one, خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ وَعَمَلًا Number two, testing necessitates freedom of choice. There could be no testing if there is no freedom of choice. And freedom of choice, the inevitable result is difference of opinion. So, so don't, you know, be so much grieved over that. Very important words are coming. وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ لَجَعَلَ النَّاسَ وَمَّتَمْ وَاحِدَةً وَلَا اِذَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفِينَ إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ وَلِذَالِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them on this pattern. This is the basic theme of the philosophy of this creation. This creation is for testing. Testing necessitates freedom of choice. And the inevitable result, you might be not like it, but the inevitable result of freedom of choice is difference. So this will continue. You know, there should be some limits. You should try to limit your differences. Or you, as, as we say, we should agree to disagree. And we should accommodate the difference of opinion. These things are, they are, have to be kept under, within certain limits. Not that we, you know, become enemies to each other. We are quarreling with each other. Man digram to digri. I am something else, you are something else. Not to that time. Accommodate the difference of opinion. Illa mar rahim ar abduk, except whom your Lord, you know, shows mercy. Wa tammat kalimatu rabbi kala amla anna jahannam amin al jinnati wa nasi ajma'in. And the word of your Lord is going to be fulfilled. That I will fill jahannam with the jinns and the mankind, all of them. So if there is no difference of opinion, if don't, the people or jinns don't go astray, so who will fill the jahannam then? So actually this is the end result. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the very beginning, Laam la'anna jahannam ka, jahannam min ka, wa min man taba'a ka. We find these words in Surah Tumban Israel. Now the final concluding remarks, as we may call, concluding ayat of this surah, wa kullan naqussu alayka min ambayir rusul. Now this is the term, which I have been using, you know. This is the place from which this term, term has been derived. All these big news of the messengers of Allah, which we are relating to you, with which we are strengthening your heart and of hearts of those who are with you, so that they should come to know. All messengers were persecuted. All messengers were mocked upon. All messengers had to go, messengers of Allah had to undergo, you know, hardships. But in the end, all of the messengers were saved and delivered. They were successful. So these things, you know, are coming to you in these stories or this, these tales of the history. Hazihi <laughs> means these tales, these qasas, in these stories. Hazihi al in these, to you have come the truth, the total truth. Wamaizatun, the sermon, wa zikra, and the reminding for all those who believe. Wa kulli ladina la yuminun amalu ala makanatikum inna amilun. 
and so to do say to those who are not believing who are rejecting you emalu ala makanatikum you do whatever you can do you strive your utmost inna amilun we are also doing it and we shall strive our utmost but the point to be noted here is in me has now changed into inna we have been reading inni amil emalu ala makanatikum inni amil you go on doing whatever you want to do at your own place to your utmost both meanings of this makanatikum inni amil i am also doing it but here it is from inni to inna what does it mean from an individual now a community a party a group has emerged this is actually the process of dawa one individual starts i am going to do this this is my path qul hadhihi sabili adu ila allah ala basiratin ana wa man ittaba'ani now in due course of time if, if he is not dejected maybe for some time nobody listens to him people are mocking at him you know people you know are making cutting jokes at him or so on it may might go on for some time but he has to be perseverance he has to show perseverance be steadfast be firm continue with it then you know surely maybe slowly but gradually people will come gather around him and this inni will turn into inna as allama iqbal has said very beautifully gaye din ke tanha tha main anjuman mein yahan ab mere razdaan aur bhi hain this is the course you know of the dawa wa in inna amilun muntaziru inna muntazirun and go wait you you also and we are also waiting walillahi ghaybu samawati wal ard and to allah belongs all the unseen of the heaven and the earth there is much unseen in the earth also we don't know the whole of the earth and what is inside the earth we have some knowledge of until some depth but what is further down we don't know so actually there is lot of unseen in this world also walillahi ghaybus samawati wal ard wa ilayhi yarjaul amr yurjaul amr kulluhu and to him will be returned all the matters for final decision fa'budhu so worship him love him serve him be a bondsman to him wa tawakkal alayh and have trust in him have faith in him have confidence in him wa ma rabbuka bi ghafilin amma ta'malun and your lord is not unaware of what they are doing barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al-azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikril hakim